We've been talking about how an Amazonian tree frog poison, Cambo, may be able to help treat things like depression, anxiety, even alcohol addiction. We want to bring board certified psychiatrist Dr. Dominic Sportelli into the discussion. He joins us now via Skype. Dr. Sportelli, thanks so much for being with us. Obviously, we tend to treat addiction, depression with prescription medications, other modalities. What are your thoughts on this growing trend of using these alternative treatments? Obviously, pros and cons. You know, I treat depression, anxiety, post traumatic stress disorder, you name it, with traditional medicines. And you hear about something like Cambo, and you, and you certainly research it, and the first thought that you have is, oh my God, Hippocratic Oath, first do no harm, this is, this is dangerous. Then you really have to give it some credence, and you have to really pay attention to it. And I think what you have to pay attention to is that it's changing people's lives for the better. So let's really examine that, what's going on here. I think alternative treatments, for the most part, are fueled by people's general dissatisfaction with traditional health care. And, you know, they have a point because we don't have great response rates to our, our traditional depression medications, our traditional detox medications. Relapse rates are so high with, with addiction. Mm -hmm. And what we see now, which is, is absolutely fascinating, I'm very, very excited about it, is a paradigm shift, especially in psychiatry, where we're seeing medications or substances that actually alter people's perception not just treat symptoms. And I think we see that now a lot in ketamine, MDMA, psilocybin, LSD even, and they're being done at these amazing research facilities like Johns Hopkins University and NYU. And as a doctor, it's amazing for me to hear because if I give someone an antidepressant, they've been depressed for, for years, and I give them an antidepressant, and they come back and they say, yeah, doc, I'm not as depressed. I don't really know why, but yeah, my mood's a little better. When I've seen people go through some alternative treatments such as ketamine, MDMA, things like that, they come back and they say, I'm not depressed anymore, doc. And it's because I realized that my problems just aren't so bad, you know, that my priorities are my family. Yeah. And that's just an amazing thing to hear because the patient has gained insight from that experience. It's almost as if they went through years of psychotherapy <laughs> with one experience or one dose of a medication. I mean, yeah. how do you, how do you explain that? Uh, either physiologically or from a psychiatric point of view. I, I mean, I use the word reboot. Is it, is it similar to shock therapy or? I can only speculate from what I know about Cambo is that you have the psychological aspect, the physiological aspect, the ritualistic aspect of it that really comes together to make it work. Now, again, being a physician, I think, you know, there needs to be an enormous amount more testing for safety because safety is paramount, and I certainly can't recommend it. But when I look at this, this is what I see. I see someone that wants a true intention to heal psychologically. Then, so they're, so they're willing to let go and be vulnerable to whatever it is that's ailing them, because you have to be very vulnerable when you're getting very violently ill. Then what they do is you're associating this, this negative aspect of your life, whether it's depression or addiction, you're associating it with this somatic, visceral response of purging and vomiting. And it's a very, very significant and unpleasant feeling. But what happens after that is done within minutes is that you have this euphoria. And the euphoria, we think, comes from some of the endogenous opioids that are in that chemical compound. But what happens is you come full circle now. So you addressed your problem, you physically purged it from your system, and then you now you're euphoric. So you actually did something about it.